What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Snowy Kurama, and we are here for Mono A Week Nine, the final week of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we are your coaches <laughs> of the Sweep It Psyox team. That was Destiny. You can go ahead and say hello or hi or what have you. Howdy, everybody. I don't know. I wanted to do something different, but howdy did not feel right. Hello. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> we are playing. Something. The scary fluffy thingies, coached by Barry. Oh, I just remembered their name because the scary fluffy thingies, and it's funny. Yeah, and rocks aren't that fluffy, but no, they're not. And this team is the first place team. I want to say they have the same record as us. Yeah, they have the same record as us, but with three more points. It looks like. Yep, points is what matters in this here league. Not really differential, nothing else. Rude. And here is the roster for the scary fluffy thingies. We got Terrakion, Tyranitar, Nihilego, Stack Attacka, Gigalith, Lycanroc, Dusk, Amastar, Shuckle, Cradilly, Carbink, and Mega Aerodactyl. They have a lot of fast rocks, so that kind of sucks for us, but you know, we're going to do what we got to do. This matchup is not favorable for us at all. We get five points if we win, and they get only one if they win. So, yeah. I think how it works is the loser of our game ends up playing the water team in the quarterfinals. So, neither of us really want to win necessarily, but we're still <laughs> going to play. We're still going to have some fun. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our team. Yep. We've got... Camera up. We're bringing camera up this week because we don't necessarily care about if we win or lose. I didn't know we even had this on our team. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've had this from our first transaction, I believe. Two. Just haven't used it. I thought it'd be more useful than it has been, but. Oops. Yeah, we've got the weakness policy here and a rock polish set with earth power, solar beam, and fire blast. At this range, our rock polish will take us over. The, the speed oh. of Lycan Rock Dusk. So we'll get to like 352, I believe, with a rock polish up. And then if we can manage to rock polish up again, then we'll be faster than the Aerodactyl, which would be nice. If we get hit by a ground move or a water move, I don't know what water moves they'll have, but our weakness policy will pop off and that'll make our moves even stronger. So that's really freaking cool. Up next, we have our Torkoal with the boots. Of course, we have Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Body Press, and Iron Defense. This is a rock team, so I figured let's reuse the fighting move against them. Seems pretty solid. They don't really have a fighting resist of sorts, so this will be fine. That's why we have all in Spadef, so that we can just increase our defense stat with Iron Defense and be just fine. We got our Rotom here, bringing screens once again with Pain Split and Volt Switch because they don't have any ground types, fun fact, so we can just Volt Switch on anything that we want to and then set up our screens. Hopefully that'll help our camera up to go ahead and sweep. That would be pretty cool. And then Pain Split, you know, we can just grab HP back. It'll be really cool. Yeah. We got our Cinderace here with the boots, of course. We got High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch, U-Turn, and Iron Head. No Pyro Ball this week because... Pyro Ball isn't exactly the best bring since it's a rock team. We've got Sucker Punch, U-Turn, and Iron Head here as well with the High Jump Kick because, you know, High Jump Kick is probably going to be the move we click the most since it really does rock their team. Iron Head is <laughs> here. Rock their team. Rock team. Anyway, continue. Iron Head <laughs> is here just in case the High Jump Kick is too risky and we can kill it with that. Plus, I couldn't figure out a fourth move to put on here. Maybe you should have put Court Change just in case, but we also have screens, so it might not be the best idea. Sucker Punch does like a good 40 to Lycan Rock, which will be great with the Assault Rock that it could possibly hit us with. And then U-Turn, so that we can switch on out. I just wanted to recognize your unintended pun. We also have enough speed in there for the Lycan Rock. I forgot to mention that. Anyway, we have our <laughs> Ball Canyon here. This thing is a support sets of sorts with Steam Eruption and Flash Cannon. The combination of those two moves will go ahead and just destroy, not really destroy, but it hits their team really, really hard. Destroy. We have the Spadef in here to take 
I think three power gems or three thunderbolt. It's three moves from their scarf in Helego. We have the Haze here for their pesky Cradilia and their pesky Shuckle. And then the mm -hmm. Willow Wisp is here to go ahead and burn their physical attackers that might want to come in and smack us in the face. The rest of it's just put in defense. Just to put it somewhere. Yeah, you warned me about the shuckle. It would not it does not look like a dangerous Pokemon. It's just like, oh, that thing looks kinda silly, and then you're like, no. Yeah, oh, Listen. you won't die <laughs> in any of my moves. Great. And then I'll just die to your stall. Fuck you. Blaziken is here as our last <laughs> member because we ha have the fighting stab on this thing, so why not? We're bringing our agility set yet again with close combat U-turn and knockoff. Knockoff is great for Mons like Minior that might have the Power Herb for their Shell Smash, as well as just any other leftovers Pokemon that they have. U-Turn, of course, is a switching move, and Close Combat should knock out lots of things. We have enough speed in here to outpace the Aerodactyl, then we have the rest in HP, and we were able to make it Adamant Nature this time around. So that's really cool. Oh, also, we have enough speed in here to outpace a Jolly Tyranitar. So there's that. That's our team. Let's go ahead and get into the battle.